Turning back now to the race for a vaccine after those mixed messages in Washington today on when the American public will see one widely available. It comes as the death toll from the coronavirus is set to hit a sobering milestone in the coming week with 200,000 Americans losing their lives to the pandemic. So for reality check on where a vaccine stands, our Bob Woodruff sat down with the director of the National Institutes of Health for our latest Vaccine Watch. An important question for many finally answered today. Operation Warp Speed officials announced that any COVID-19 vaccine produced and approved in the U.S. will be absolutely free. The news announced today during a press conference with Operation Warp Speed officials. In terms of a principle and an aspiration, it'll be that no American has to pay a single dime out of pocket uh, to get a vaccine. Operation Warp Speed is an initiative to have millions of doses ready to ship once a vaccine is given FDA approval. However, the officials say they still don't know how or when Americans will get them. This is a uh, really a quite extraordinary, uh, logistically complex undertaking and a lot of uncertainties right now. But the president has been touting the speed of vaccine development in Philadelphia last night, once again, promising potential approval before Election Day. And we're within weeks of getting it, you know, could be three weeks, four weeks. The director of National Institutes of Health and Dr. Anthony Fauci's direct boss told us this timeline is much more complicated. I would expect that if we have a vaccine that's approved by December, by the spring, most Americans will have a chance uh, to have access to it. And certainly by the middle of 2021, uh, we ought to be in a pretty good place. Director Collins and his team at the NIH are in direct coordination with many of the top vaccine developers, including AstraZeneca, a company whose vaccine trials hit a speed bump last week. Have there been any other cases where people have, have gotten sick? Those that are involved have, have actually volunteered to do this? In any of these other companies, any of these other trials? I have heard of no other instances of what would be called a severe adverse event. Despite what seems to be promising late-stage human trials, a large portion of the public remains skeptical. Does it shock you at all, Dr. Collins, that there was this Gallup poll that says that one out of every three Americans would not get vaccinated? It troubles me greatly that people have already arrived at that conclusion because I would think uh, as sensible people, you'd want to wait until you could see the actual data about benefits and risks before you made that decision. If we really want to be able to get past this, we are going to need to get to a place where something like 70% of the public is no longer at risk for COVID-19. There are two ways to get there. One is by getting sick with the disease. That's not a good solution for people who may not survive the illness. The other way is the vaccine. And if the U.S. falls behind, the question remains, would America accept the vaccine developed on foreign soil? I think they would if we were interested and we were convinced that they were safe and effective. Obviously, uh, we kind of believe that our system in the U.S. is more rigorous and we would have to be really convinced that a vaccine coming from Russia or China was the right thing for our people. But I don't think we would rule that out if it turns out that there's came along successfully and we ran into some sort of serious speed bumps with our own effort. Despite the uncertain timeline, Collins believes there could be as many as 800 million vaccine doses available by mid next year. Officials from Operation Warp Speed say they're prepared to ship doses to first responders and those most at risk the moment FDA grants approval. This is Bob Woodruff tracking the race for a vaccine. Our thanks to Bob Woodruff for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.